Hello everyone and welcome back to Precious No channel. Today's video is going to be about SAP ABAB programmer. How is their life going to be being into this role? Also, you would understand how are they being paid as well so that if you are thinking to start a role or a professional life in this, you can understand what are the skills that you need to develop eventually over the years. And also you would understand how you would be further paid alongside looking into the professional graph of an SAP AB, AP programmer. So with that note, we would be understanding the first part of the video, which is the introduction or the definition of SAP ABAP programmer holds highly technical and specialized position because they would be actually handling large number of software issues. They would be creating and also further developing whilst working under software and then individuals in these positions are considered to be experts of reading and coding particularly type of code known as ABAP or advanced business application programming. So this is how or this is what the role actually looks and here are some of the skills that you need to inculcate if you want to ace your professional life. SAP enterprise resources planning, ERP, SAP business workflow, object oriented programming, OOP and SAP High Performance Analytical Appliance, SAP HANA, and then R3 ABAP. So these are some of considered to be some of the major skills or the core fundamentals which are majoritily considered to be required in order to become one. So what does this person actually do? You can consider that these programmers are expected to create SAP modules uh, which will help in ABAP language and this role consists of various other activities like planning, coding for the development and implementations, testing and support. So they would be actually working or having their hands on experience on majority of their tools and for the various workflow processes. And if you are interested to become one, consider some of these points as mentioned here. You should have a good amount of knowledge in programming languages like C, C++ and Python and then should understand SAP's fundamentals. You should also know ABAP Interact and with other coding other languages and then should understand the debugging process, how the workflow processes is going on, how we are for the documenting, reporting and further making an implementation of the software that you are further developing whilst using the code. And alongside with that, you should also understand what is the process of the code that you are doing, how is the code being implemented and what are the various other tools that you are using in order to cultivate that code and then implement it for further use. So there are so many things to consider in order to become this programmer, right? And here are some of the job roles in order to ACE or in order to understand how the working life is going to be like manage design develop and also implement of implementation of ABAP projects you should also be able to review and revise technical designs in order to meet the ABAP project requirements you should be able to maintain and update existing program codes as essential as possible so it's not as much as needed, it is as essential. So because it is going to be criteria based as well as it is also considered to be the major responsibility that has to be fulfilled by the programmer. And heading over to the main section of the video, which is how they are paid. So if you are stepping into this role, you can consider on an average basis in India, 5 lakhs, 45,000 per annum is the pay. And you might be wondering, this is just the amount or this is the only amount or this can be the amount. So with all of that, if you want to know more details regarding these pays, you can always head over to Payscale website for, to know more information about the pay part. And this is how the professional graph is going to look like. Considering from year 1 to year 5, there is going to be a steady increase and eventually it is going to take a leap of growth when you land in like 10 years. And how locations are paying these programmers. So for the first place is Mumbai, 4,92,000 per annum, a good start off. And Hyderabad, 5,81,000 per annum. And then Bangalore, 6,64,000, topping off all of the other locations and then Pune 5,76,000 again and in Noida 4,63,000 per annum. 
heading over to how each company is paying you so that you can understand if before you even step into that company you would know what you are stepping in for Accenture is paying 7 lakhs 50 thousand per annum and TCS 6 lakhs 60 thousand per annum and then Infosys 4 lakhs 75 thousand per annum now that's a good start off and if you have more suggestions or if you know other facts re relating to this programmer if you are already a programmer by yourself if you have anything to tell us please place them in the comment section so that even others might find it useful for more informative videos regarding your careers and if you have any questions please keep watching videos like this by subscribing to our channel freshest now thank you for tuning in